have to find Amy. She should still be in this city. Hmm. Interesting. So seeing Amy should be around here somewhere. Let's go check over here. Amy? Oh man, where can she be? Ah! Sonic! Help! Oh, there she is. I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! Oh, I guess they're no longer on strike. That's useful. I'll stop being on strike the second that I was able to. Let me go, you hunk of junk! I mean it! Hey there, bull brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Hey, what's happening here? Stop! Sonic, help me! Shoot, I've lost her again! I almost forgot to unmute myself. Uh, so I, I think I might as well like mention this now since we're on the topic of this. I've actually been trying to make a Sonic themed RPG for a while. Before someone says, wait, I thought there was already a Sonic RPG. Uh, no, there wasn't. Uh, you are mistaken. Bioware did not make an RPG. <laughs> they made a torture device. Uh, what do you know? Did you see that flying battleship? That was cool. Wonder who made it. Flew off towards the mountains. Wonder if I should have followed. Okay, I can't get to the... The monkey. Oh! There we go. This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. So, I could not remember. I believe that also... Ready? No, it does not speed up our uh, light speed dash yet. And this is why I usually have it, like, set. Like, every time I have a chance. If we're surrounded by enemies, I just use that to just take them all out. So, welcome to the stage with one of my favorite themes. Oh, this one has a hedgehog in it. So, this stage has one of my favorite, like, my one of my favorite like mu um, stage themes in it. I I really like this stage. Yeah, as you can see, that is a very powerful attack, Ready? and it uh, targets multiple enemies at once. I probably shouldn't have done that just for 10 coins, but, uh, for 10 rings, but oh well. Some rockets require 
require you to push a switch. I guess that just leads over here. Okay. Huh. This stage has a lot of the red... Uh, the red power on Mobinis. What? We're at 20 lives. That's pretty good. Yeah, Red Mountain's, I think, my third favorite stage in this game. It's, it's got a pretty good aesthetic, and it's got great music. Move forward by attacking the enemy. Ah. Sorry if you could hear my microphone, like, move around very quickly. A uh, fly just, like, flew into my eye. Wow, that was three lives very close to each other. It's pretty good. Here we go. Dang it. I like listening to the music of this uh, area. It's it's a very uh, 90s like R&B beat with no lyrics to it. It's kind of interesting. Uh-oh. Dang it. For some strange reason in this level, they just have these prisoners back over here that are just made out of, like, holographic lights. And they move faster depending on how tall their model is. It's, it's fascinating how it's like, what the heck? Again, it's a weird vibe that this uh, level has, but I'm not... But it's not a bad vibe, it's just an interesting one. Not 
bad? Chase the egg carrier completed. And that is how the Tornado 1 becomes the Tornado 2. So I believe, because I wasn't able to do it in the previous stage, now that it's the Tornado 2, we can hold down the attack button and it will, and it will lock on to enemies that are inside the cursor. This makes attacking enemies so much easier. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit loud. I might actually just turn the volume down back a little bit more. One second. didn't really help too much. Now we're in ev evasive maneuvers mode. Okay, so we've gone two rotations now. There we go.
We had to shoot right down the barrel to take that one out. 60% is almost twice as better. <laughs> So I, I kind of wanted to bring it up at some point. I guess now is the best time. You can kind of tell that this is the Sonic Adventure DX Don't version of the game. Ideas, oh. You fools. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Get a load at this. I do wonder if there is a mod that I can I can put into this game that eliminates all of the upgrades that the other characters get so it's not on the character's cannon. I, I, I kind of wanted to break all these boxes to see what was in each of them. There we go. This must be the way to the sky deck. But yeah, the thing I wanted to bring up really quickly is the fact that you can tell this the. DX version of the game because the models have, for some reason, 300% uh, facial movement compared to the original version of the character of the uh, original version of the game, and I have no idea why that happened. But people make fun of it, like still to this day. Like when uh, Sonic yells, he goes, "Ah!" And then, like, his quills just go up in every direction instead of just having a subtle, like, tilt. So, uh, if Red Mountain is my third favorite level in this game, Sky Deck is my, is my second favorite. Because... One of the things I really enjoy about this level is how much sequence breaking you do in it. And not by like... And I'm not saying like, oh, there's you can like glitch up things, but there are avenues that you can take that will completely like make the area trespassable in a different way. Oh my gosh. Rude. I haven't really died too much in this game, actually, now that I think about it.
I like how they give you so many lives because they know how annoying some of the enemy placements are in this area. Shoot. Oh my gosh, did I just walk off the side? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Do I just stand here, or...? There we go. Oh, we haven't seen a skunk before. That's a new one. Gosh, why couldn't you just crab onto the ladder? Come on. What? Huh? I'm not even gonna question it. Yeah, for some reason, if if you're still holding up when that drops like that, for some reason you'll just start going down. You know, I don't think I've ever talked about how the how the shields work. So you have uh, three types of shields, just like in the original uh, Sonic game. You have a bubble shield which is which is green in this game it's more like an it's more like an air bubble instead of a water bubble and then you have uh, the electric bubble which brings in rings towards you and then the fire bubble that does extra that will hit enemies just based on how uh, it will hit enemies when you get near them. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, the, uh... The, the air slash bubble shield is the least interesting. And the electric one is the most interesting. Strong winds will blow you off course. When the ship increases speed, hang on to something. There we go.
Yeah, if you couldn't tell why this is one of my favorite stages, it's... There we go. Dang it. I forgot that those guys have an electric generator. There we go. Hey! There we go. Yeah! So, this part right here, I loved as a kid. It's such a cool vibe to basically be on a completely upside-down ship. There we go. I was waiting to sneeze, yeah, and it just ne never happened. There we go. Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. Okay. Oh, I just realized that I haven't actually unlocked the other two. Hot shoulder entrance is closed. Do not enter. If you couldn't tell, you have to use uh, an ability to get into there. Oh, here it is. Secret password to open the door is Eggman. Great. Yeah, if it wasn't obvious. By the way, if you don't understand why a pan just landed on her head, uh, it's, it's uh, supposed to be Japanese comedy. Ow. Just stand on here. Oh, I guess those are lions, not hedgehogs. Weird. Okay, so this is the egg, um, this is the egg carrier chow garden. So where we'd be able to shift back and forth if we had the ability to, but we do not.
Might as well just head back. Yeah, I completely forgot we hadn't actually gone into the other two. Entry restricted. Oh hey, here's uh, Eggman's little chair thing. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was too busy uh, swapping my uh, my uh, stuff back to normal. Okay, we only need one more hit on him. Yeah, most of the bosses in this game are very easy. Or at least the character bosses are. Yeah, hopefully uh, you uh, didn't hear that crunchy audio like I did, because jeez. Okay, where was the cap? Oh! I was not expecting those glitchy boxes right there. I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Isn't this the door to it? Yeah, this is the door to it. Ready, go. Okay, send the seat. Rolls forward. There we go. Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. Yeah, we can now uh, go from the main deck to the uh,
we could go f um, from the inside of the ship to the main deck a lot easier now. Okay, Chaos 6. This one's an interesting boss fight if you don't really know what to do. So Eggman will drop down these ice traps to try to stop you. And all it does is, uh, freeze, uh, no way. I can't believe this. No way. I can't believe this. Uh, get out, get out. Stop that. Yeah, it only takes about four hits. It's a very easy boss fight once you uh, realize what the gimmick is. As a kid, I didn't know that you can actually throw the the bombs. I thought he had to just suck them up. So I spent like several minutes waiting for him to get into the uh, to sucking up phase. They played it three times in a row for uh, to make it sound cool. Okay, hey y'all. So, my voice is back now, so I can actually record something. I'm going to record more of this game, but what I wanted to do is stop here. Do uh, I think I explained it after this in the actual like recording, but I wanted to wait until everyone gets off of the egg carrier and get everyone else caught up. So actually in the next episode, we're gonna go straight into Tales of Story, and we're gonna go backwards through all the stories that we do to then showcase like all of the post egg carrier stuff. Having uh, the fight with Gamma slash the fight with Chaos 6 being that sort of point. So, next episode, we start on Tails' story. This was just to kind of explain. Uh, see y'all later. Goodbye.